Right now, you are working on it. Raising a child, a home improvement project, a hobby, learning a new skill, maybe even working on your undergraduate degree. You have forward momentum. Don't stop. I have a friend who retired. He sits on the couch all day long, watching TV, waiting to die. Friends I went to high school with are dead. My father is in his final illness. He asked me what I was going to do with my inheritance. I said, Dad, I don't want to talk about that. He pushed and I said, if I had that kind of money, I would go back to school and I would finish my degree. You see, in 1982, at 15 years old, I was a high school student at Athens Drive in Wake County in Raleigh, North Carolina. But I was also dual enrolled at North Carolina State University. Neither endeavor went too bad, except for the beer run after college classes. I was only 15, I couldn't drink. I also didn't have my driver's license. And so I couldn't drive between the two institutions and they're too far apart to walk to. And that taught me the first lesson to surviving the waves of life. We're all in this together. Help when you can. After high school, I had planned to go to Juilliard to study music. It's the premier place to do that. I had started piano lessons when I was four years old. I was always in choir, but there's a problem with that. I marched to the beat of a different drummer. Also, the arts like sports. There can only be so many Michael Jordans, and I wanted cash. So I didn't go to Juilliard. I stayed at NC State and I learned to survive the waves by marching to the beat where that skill is valuable. At NC State at a new minted 16, it was pretty challenging. No one had ever taught me time management. And while the semester at first went good in the fall, the spring was a little bit challenging, but I picked myself up and I continued. And I learned another lesson to survive the waves. Find resources to help you. But I didn't know that then. At State, I took every music class that I could and they nourished my soul. They were pretty easy A's. I wish I could say the same thing about my major in computer science. You see, I had to wait 24 hours before I even got time on the CRT to type in my programs. Uh, CRT is kind of like a Chromebook, but with the intelligence of a toaster. Finally, I had my 130 hours completed. I was a senior, but I also had two side hustles programming, a full-time 40 hour a week job. I was taking a senior level class at night after a long day. It didn't go well. I stopped going to class. Life happened, a marriage a divorce, another marriage, a kid, a miscarriage, another kid. But I had arrived. I had a serious career with a technology company with only three letters in its name. 
I built and designed my own house and I named it Bellacor, Beautiful Heart. Better than two cats in the yard in the Crosby, Stills and Nash song, I have three cats in the house. But life moves on, outsourcing. My baby graduated summa cum laude. I needed to make a new career move. The positions that I was looking for required two things, Python programming and a master's degree. The masters required the bachelors that I had never finished. So, back to school, a senior in computer science. But by that time in my life, I came to feel about programming the way Robin Williams felt about his first major role as Mork from Ork. I don't have to do that anymore. I'm all grown up. Well, Robin went on to do, oh, so many wonderful things. Hopefully I will too. While I was searching for my new degree, I took that Python class. And you know what? There were sadly only as many women in that class as there were in 1983. Where are my sister programmers? But I did get 106 out of 100. I am an internationally decorated programmer. Finally, I found a degree that would work for me. Hold on, this is a mouthful. I will be getting a Bachelor of Science in Science, Technology, and Society with a concentration in music in the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. This degree didn't even exist back in 1982, and it resonates with me. Unfortunately, academia doesn't put on your transcript real-world experience. It wants you to take those classes. Another lesson for surviving the waves. Do the required things even if it is unpleasant. We are all up against another wave, time. Remember, my dad is in his final illness. I haven't seen my parents for two years because of COVID. As my mother acerbically points out, time is ticking for all of us. We are all dying. Perhaps you can relate. Get up off the couch. Go do your it. Time is cruel. It's ticking against us. Do something. The before COVID me thought that I would march across the stage and get my diploma. My parents would sit out in the audience and would applaud me. But no large in-person gatherings. And graduation ceremonies don't look like that this year. This major ceremonial milestone isn't going to happen the way that I envisioned it. Nothing is promised. Survive the waves by carpe diem. Seize the day. Maybe my parents will get to see my diploma on Zoom. But when I came back, there were some other important lessons that I learned as I did my studies. If you love it, don't let it go. I had to take an archeology span class. Why, oh why, didn't I Google the subject at least once in a while? or maybe taken out a journal subscription or something. Did you know that there might be a hidden room in a certain pyramid in Egypt? And LIDAR is helping us virtually remove the trees from South America. And those civilizations are much bigger and vaster and complicated than we ever thought. If you love it, do it. 
When I was in computer science, my hero was Admiral Grace Hopper. She's a generation older than me. She worked in computer science in the Navy. The Navy's pretty male dominated, you know. She managed to name her it. She's the reason we have bugs in computer software. I learned on this journey that if I had done my it of music, I was in the right place in the right time, that I could have been an art music composer like Cynthia McTee. But I didn't do it. I didn't continue with that. If I had used computers, computers keep time and rhythm really well. Now nobody will know what my compositions could have done. If you love it, surround it. Even though I go to PCB Carolinas every year, keeping up with just this branch of knowledge is beyond me. It's growing and growing. You may say, oh, I know computer science. What is a PCB? The ubiquitous printed circuit board? Another problem with this ever-growing knowledge is that there's getting to be so much of it. And we need to apply it to real-world problems like climate change change. Climate change is surrounded by political, economic, architectural. There is also the classical sciences of physics and earth sciences with their carbon cycle. Thank you, Dr. Falk. Don't forget that we should look at the historical context. Thank you, Dr. Bassett. And we need to think about the ethical considerations of how we apply our solutions. Thank you, Dr. Cheetahs. And bringing all of this together to surround the it of this issue is what STS does best. Thank you, Dr. Wesp. If I had surrounded my it of music with other disciplines, I might have made some really interesting compositions in music, like I did for my earth sciences class, where I created a song based on the geological time scale. If you love it, persevere. In that first semester that I came back, I didn't have a degree plan yet. I knew that it wasn't going to be computer science, but I took a statistics class. My first exam back, I got a 67. The statistics head told me that I had no business being at a prestigious university like North Carolina State. Guess he was right based on that score, huh? But I persevered. And I pulled a B minus out of that class. So much of the world had changed from when I was originally a freshman. I was talking to my car. And learning now required something called a learning management system. Some places use Canvas and Blackboard. State uses Moodle. Moodle rhymes with poodle. But I persevered. I continued. My class ring has the dates on it, 1982 to 2021, and the initials that stand for, nevertheless, she persisted. Keep going on your it. If you love it, love it. In America, we are quite invested with industrial time and motion studies. If you do one, thing over and over and over and over and over. You get faster at it. But you know what? You don't love it. You dry up and die if all you pursue is a paycheck. Make sure you pick something that you love. 
and make sure you come back to your journey, that you finish your it. Hi, my name is Susan Francois, and at 55, I'm going to graduate from North Carolina State University. Don't stop. And if you did, go back and continue. Thank you.